What's up? So, what's up, y'all? Today, I got something very simple and clean for you. Something very nice. A very quick, quickie review of an album that I've wanted to listen to all year. And that is Anger Management by Rico Nasty and Kenny Beats on production. So, with this album, I was really looking forward to see how Rico handled it. Because, you know, it's called Anger Management. So, you know, you kind of expect a lot more of that angry, abrasive, crazy Rico that we always get. And we do get that, I think, in more of like the first half of the album. But then after the skit, it feels like things slowly start to calm down a little bit more. Especially by the very last song again. So, it was... Honestly, a pretty solid album. I mean, it was exactly what I expected from Rico Nasty, but not in a bad way, like the baby in my last review. In that review, it was a bad thing that we expected what we expected from him. But the thing that makes this different from that is the fact that I expected Rico to make something this good. There was something about this album, her charm, her abrasiveness her way or her way of getting her feelings across throughout this album is just a good and she expresses it in a musical way that fits perfectly like she said in one of the songs i think it was again where she was talking about our sellout where she was talking about the pains and stuff that she's been through so then she puts it into songs so that people who've been through the same stuff can sing it with her you know stuff like that it kind of makes you notice how how she puts herself into the music you know so I don't really have anything really bad to say. I feel like there were a few songs on here that kind of were just okay. Didn't they were just okay? Like, it, it, and it's not even like it was something so ridiculously conceptual or anything. Like by the end of the album, we kind of hear this other voice talking to her, talking about her um, like anger management or whatever, and saying like, "Oh, I'm here for you" or something like that. I think it was like some robot type voice, and I think that was just her way of saying like. When you list, when you look at the track list, you know you see cold, cheat code, hating, big tits, nasty world, relative, mood, sellout, and again, it kind of like seems like even when you read, I feel like even when you read the names, it feels like it, it, you can kind of see the shift that it it slowly starts to take, you know, like. It's a nasty world because everybody's trying to be my relative all of a sudden, you know, like stuff like that, like sell out, you know, like it's a nasty world because people sell out, but I'm not going to sell out, you know, like, so it feels like she kind of had a little bit of a concept, but didn't want it to be the main part of the album. And I like that because I don't think I need to hear a super conceptually driven Rico Nasty album, even though I don't think I would mind it. I don't think it's something I hear right now. This is exactly what she needed. She needs to get something out that proves that she can come out with some bangers, especially with Kenny Beats. Her and Kenny Beats together is amazing. And don't even get me started on Kenny's production on this album. His production on this album was killer. His production on Cold, Cheek, ooh, Cheek Code, Hatin', Mood, and Sellout. Oh my goodness. Those like four to five songs, just straight banger production, like straight hard, nice, and, 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 and deep beats you know like for it to have such a trap sound and for the beat to be so deep when you actually listen to it is really impressive so i'll always give kenny his credit on that because that's something he's always been good at and i love his beats for that at all times can you shut the way i'm feeling about this album is it's a quick little listen not too overdrawn it's not too short at the same time also it just gets his point across and it helps you understand Rico a little bit more. I, I feel like she didn't say nothing to, on here too crazy that I wouldn't ex expect to hear from her or felt like it gave me a deeper insight to who she is. I think the way she expresses who she is is through her music and the way she actually sounds on the track. Not what she actually says, though. So, overall, how I'm feeling about this album, definitely a 7 out of 10. It'll be ranking above albums like The Lost Boy and The Plugs I Met because I'd much rather listen to this and stuff like that, even though those albums are still good. But it's still under albums like The Sailor and Ginger and Flower, or not Flower, but whatever, where am I at? Igor. So, yeah, that's how I'm feeling about this album. Very good listen. 
And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this quickie. No homo. <laughs>